Okay. So here in this segment we are covering another example of Laplace transform. So we are given f of s. You see here. Here we have. We have uh, this function of s. Now in the denominator you see that you have, we have repeated roots s plus 2 whole cube so this is this term is repeated three times now in that case uh, if you do the partial fraction it will you have to write in this form let me just show you this uh, so this should be a over s plus 1 then if b0 s plus 2 whole cube p1 s plus 2 square and b2 s plus 2 whole cube so you need to find out the bill of a b b0 b1 b2 so the finding a is straightforward the a is basically multiply this by s plus 1 8 s plus 10 over s plus 2 whole cube and then you replace s by minus 1 so it gives you 8 minus 1 plus 10 minus 1 plus 2 whole cube so minus 10 plus minus 8 plus 10 we have plus 2 and then you have minus 1 whole cube plus 1 whole cube which is 1 so this is 2 and b naught is also straightforward so you multiply everything by s plus 2 whole cube 8s plus 10 s plus 1 and you replace s by minus 2 so this will give you a 8 minus 2 plus 10 and then minus 2 plus 1. So you have uh, minus 16 plus 10. So minus 6 here and then minus 1 here. So also 6. So now finding b1 and b2. These two will be a little bit critical. And you can adopt many ways to find this B1 and B2. But here we will be going through the Hebicide method. Hebicide method. So we will apply Hebicide theorem here. So using using Hebicide theorem, using Hebicide theorem, we will find a B1 and B2 will be obtained so what is uh, what is how you can find b1 so finding b1 is basically you multiply this with s plus 2 whole cube like you get this one but you have to take a derivative of d, d over ds 8 of s plus 10 s plus 1 and this is by factorial 1 sorry factorial 1 right so you have to calculate you have to and then you evaluate this thing with s equal to minus 2 so this is uh, how you find b1 So you just take the derivative of this one, the first derivative, and then evaluate that derivative with s equal to minus 2. Right? So if you take the derivative, then what you get? So you, you get s plus 1 whole squared, then you have s plus 1. Take the first derivative of 8s plus 10, which gives you 8, and then minus 8s eight, eight plus 10 take the derivative of s plus 1 which should be 1 
then you evaluate this for s equal to minus 2. So you get uh, s plus 1 whole squared and then then 8s plus 8, 8s plus 8 minus 8s minus 10. So it is minus 2 by s plus 1 over squared. You replace s with a minus 2 and also minus 2. Then you have minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 square okay so this gives you minus 2 plus 1 so that means you have minus 1 is so it will be minus 2 so b1 here is minus 2 and you need to find out what is about b2 so when you take b2 so b2 is let me write the b2 here so b2 will be let me use another color here so b2 will be second derivatives so d square by ds square 8s plus 10 over s plus 1 and you divide it by factorial 2 Previously it was factorial 1 here, but here it is here factorial 2 and evaluate this whole thing the s equal to minus 2. Right. So so you know that uh, the first derivative already the first derivative we have evaluated the first derivative and that is minus 2 over s plus 1 is square. That means what you get from here 1 over factorial 2 so first derivative of minus 2 over s plus 1 square evaluate these things with s equal to minus 2 right s equal to minus 2 which uh, between the next page so here yes b2 which is 1 by 2 d by ds so if you take the derivative of so that will be straightforward so it is minus 2 and then s plus 1 to the power minus 2 so this will uh, give you minus 2 and then s plus 1 to the power 3 and evaluate that for s equal to minus 2 so here you have s equal to minus 2 so these two to cancel and then you have plus 2 over minus 2 plus 1 whole cube so you have minus one whole cube so which gives you minus two so that is pretty much uh, what you have so here you have f of s and then a, a is evaluated as two over s plus one then B naught is 6 and B1 is minus 2 so minus 2 and B2 is also minus 2 now you need to calculate the inverse of this f of s that you can do so so f of t will be equal to 2 so this is straight for a 2 into e to the power minus t u t 
Now this one, as you know that Laplace transform of t to the power n u t is equal to factorial n s to the power n plus 1. So this is the formula that you can have. So now you have s cube here, s plus 2 whole cube. So s cube. So that means you need to use n equal to 2. So if you use Laplace t squared ut, you get factorial of 2 s cube. So which is 2 over s cube. So that means this one, if you write 2 over s plus 2 whole cube, you can get plus 3. And since you have s plus 2 instead of s, it should be to the power minus 2t. And then t square ut. Right. Similarly, this one, you use n equal to 1. So if you use a, n equal to 1, then you should have 1 over s square. So it should be precisely minus 2 e to the power minus 2 t t u t. And then, so there should not be any, let me just, this, there should not be any. Okay, here you have minus, minus 2, and this is e to the power minus 2 t u t. So this is the answer that you have. So, summary is that when you have repeated roots in the denominator, you have to write the partial fraction in this form and apply the Heaviside theorem or other alternative methods that those are described in your book. But I, I basically prefer the Heaviside, so that's why I have shown you how to apply the Heaviside and you can find B1 and B2 in this, in this book.